Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to talk about a clothing item that I love to wear and that arguably I wear every day if not almost every day in the winter and the colder seasons and that is sweaters. In the winter time I would argue that 99% of my outfits consist of a sweater and then some form of pants on the bottom and then boots or sneakers. And that is what I wear on rotation basically every day. Where I live, it's pretty cold in the winter and so a sweater is really the only way to go to stay warm, but there's also so many options of sweaters to make cute outfits and keep warm at the same time. So my winter wardrobe basically consists of just sweaters. And I think at this point I have a pretty much full collection of sweaters that I feel like fulfills my needs when it comes to creating fun and chic outfits throughout the winter season. So I thought I would share my sweater collection with you guys and kind of walk through what each sweater does for me, why I have each kind of sweater that I have, and why I think they're good investment pieces to make. So with that, I think we can just jump right into talking about my sweater collection. Ugh. Okay. Okay, so I have pulled out every single sweater that I own and it's a very beautiful pile. I do have quite a few sweaters, not a crazy amount, but a good amount of sweaters. But I do think that each one serves their own purpose in my wardrobe. So I'll walk you through each of them and talk about them with you. I am going to start off with the most basic sweater that I own and that it's just a black crew neck sweater. It just has these kind of oversized sleeves, which is what I love a lot about this sweater. The sleeves fit very nicely on my body. I love the slightly puffy sleeve and then the cuff that's like more fitted. I think it makes the silhouette of this sweater really nice. So it adds a bit of a twist to a more basic sweater, which I think is nice because I don't want my sweaters to be boring. I want them to still feel very fashionable. This is from Gap. I have had this one for probably like three years. It's not a super exciting sweater, but I just wear it all the time. I pull this out if I want to wear a black sweater for the most part. It's a bit oversized and the, like, the nature of the material itself is that it just doesn't insulate very well. So I don't wear this one on really cold days, but it's really nice for fall and like milder winter days, I would say. Okay, so staying with a similar shape, the next sweater I have is this cashmere crew neck sweater from J. Crew, and it's got this like knit pattern. If you can see that, it's a similar shape to the last sweater that I just showed you. So it's something that's tried and true for me. I know that I like this fit. Similar to the last one as well, it is nice and big. Like it's not super oversized, but I like the way that it fits on my body. For most sweaters like this, you'll notice that I like them to be like a bit oversized and not like super fitted to my body. So with cashmere, which I feel like infamously shrinks when you wash it, I find even when you hand wash it, it can shrink a little bit. So I got a medium in this, also just anticipating that it will probably shrink in size a little bit. The one thing I love about cashmere is that it's very practical in terms of warmth and insulation. Cashmere. I think of the fabrics that I have tried is probably the warmest material that you can wear. So I reserve my cashmere sweaters for super cold days because it's such a warm fabric. It will keep you warm, especially if you're layering underneath or like coats on top. Staying on cashmere, this is the second cashmere sweater that I have. So I only have two cashmere pieces in my wardrobe, the last sweater that I showed you and then this one. Um, this one is also from J. Crew, and it is more of this like tan slash oat color. I got this last season, I haven't worn it yet, but I just wanted a sweater in this color. I don't have any other sweaters in this color, and so I thought it would be a nice investment because 
I have a trench coat in this color that I wear all the time in the fall and the spring and so I thought I would get a lot of wear out of this and it's just nice to throw in like a different color because I tend to wear blacks, grays, and browns and so having this kind of a color is a little bit nice when I want to switch things up. But yeah, this is supposed to be a bit of a cropped fit and so I got a large because personally I'm not huge on cropped sweaters. I also, again, like I said, know that cashmere is going to shrink. So I got a large in this, anticipating that. I'm going to stay in like the crew neck category for now and just show you all of my crew neck sweaters and then go into turtlenecks next because I think both um, have their time and place and are nice to have in the wardrobe. So this next sweater I got from H&M. This I got with the intention of wearing as like outerwear, so wearing on top of a t-shirt or an undershirt. So I got it pretty oversized, I think. This is still a size extra small, but it's fairly large. I will say it's slightly cropped, so I'm glad that is that it is oversized. I just think the bell sleeve looks so whimsical and it's just a very cozy look, so I tend to pull this one out around the holiday season. I also think this is a really chic option for outerwear when it comes to traveling. Like I tend to bring this with me on flights because it like travels easy, it's pretty lightweight, but it keeps me warm and I don't have to compromise in terms of fashion because I think it's a really cute piece. So yeah, this is the first H&M sweater that I am showing you, the first of many. I think that H&M is a great place for sweaters. I get so many of my sweaters, most of them honestly, either from H&M or secondhand slash vintage. H&M has a great range of very fashionable sweaters, classic sweaters, like classic structures that you really will never outgrow that you will want in your wardrobe for a long time. This is not an H&M ad. I'm just a pretty big fan of the brand when it comes to sweaters because sweaters can be super expensive depending on where you go to buy them. And so I think it's nice that H&M provides more affordable options, but also pretty high quality sweaters. The sweaters that I have from H&M, I have had for years and years and years, like. Literally some of these sweaters I have had for like close to 10 years. So yeah, you'll see a few H&M sweaters. That's primarily where I go to buy them. You don't need to spend $100 to get a nice sweater. The next two sweaters that I'm going to show you are also technically cardigans, but I think that the material is thick enough that I wear them as sweaters as well. So I thought I would just show them here because I probably will be wearing these in the winter as well as the fall. So the first sweater, if you are familiar with this channel, have probably seen already, but it's just this cardigan from Target. And this is a size small. Again, it's a bit oversized. The material is quite warm and the neckline is high enough that I think I can get away with wearing this in the winter time. So I thought I'd just show it here. I won't talk too much about it. And then the second, sweater slash cardigan I'm wearing, but you'll see this in the try on clip. This is essentially like if it didn't have the buttons going down the front, a sweater, like the material is thick and warm. And so I think I'll be wearing this in the winter as well. The only thing I would say is that the neckline is a bit low. So I will definitely need to wear like a t-shirt underneath to keep myself warm here or a scarf or something like that. Personally, I find that if my neck is exposed, I'm gonna be cold, even if I'm wearing like a warm sweatshirt or a sweater. And so, yeah, having the high neckline for me on a sweater is key. Otherwise, layering or wearing the scarf is essential. But this one is from Abercrombie & Fitch, I believe. I got it secondhand. This has a similar sleeve actually to the first black sweater that I showed you. It's like kind of a puffy bell sleeve with the tighter, more fitted cuff. I just love the shape that this gives. I just think it's very flattering. And so when I see a sleeve like this on a sweater, it's likely that I will grab it immediately because I just know that I like how it looks. One thing I love about this sweater, and I just can't believe I found this secondhand, like I love this sweater a lot. Just the detailing of the knitting. I love that the buttons are covered in fabric. I think that that is such a nice touch that it's just so cohesive with the rest of the sweater. And then if you look on the sides here on the sleeves, there's these little like 
polka dots almost like knitted into the fabric. I don't know. I just love little details like that. I think that's almost like this attention to detail is reminiscent of Cezanne sweaters, which is like a cult thing. <laughs> I don't have any, but I know that people love the attention to detail when it comes to Cezanne cardigans and sweaters. And so this is kind of like a wonderful dupe for that. Now we are done with all of the crew neck sweaters. I'm going to move on to turtlenecks. So when it comes to sweaters, I have a few in each category. I think turtlenecks are a bit more practical when it comes to the winter season, just because it's so easy. When you wear a turtleneck, you do essentially don't need to wear a scarf because your neck is like covered up to your chin. So in terms of warmth, I tend to rely on turtlenecks a lot. I'm gonna start off with a holy grail sweater for me. I wear this so much. I hope it never gets a hole in it because I don't know what I'd do without it. And this is the sweater. It is a turtleneck. It's just folded over, but this is also from H&M. It is their like divided brand. This is actually in a size XS, but it's just super oversized. That is another thing I love about H&M sweaters is they just design them to be oversized for the most part. And as someone who loves an oversized sweater, it's just so easy for me. I don't need to size up. Everything just fits the way that I want it to. So I think that might be another reason why I love H&M um, sweaters so much, but yeah, this is an extra small. But yeah, it's just this beautiful gray color. I remember this is the first gray sweater that I ever got. And I think, honestly, I credit this sweater to making me love gray so much and falling in love with having gray pieces in my wardrobe. I specifically love this like light gray color. I just think it's so chic and so cool. I feel like when you wear this color, you instantly just look fashionable and very like editorial. So I love that it's like definitely not cropped. It's super long. I I do love a long sweater. Pairing a long sweater over just like baggy pants, I think is such a cool and cozy look. So the next turtlenecks that I'm going to show you, I think you could argue that they're like tops and not sweaters, but I wear them in the same way that I would wear a sweater. Like I don't find that I need additional layering to be warm in them, aside from like a coat, obviously. So I'm just gonna mention them here because just like sweaters, they're basically winter pieces that keep me warm and are very practical. And so I thought I'd just include them here. So the next piece is also a turtleneck. This is Ralph Lauren and I thrifted this. I got it secondhand. I'm so grateful that I found this. I think it's such a cute piece. As you can tell, different from all the other things I've shown you, this is striped. I just was shocked when I saw this because I just rarely see striped chocolate brown shirts and sweaters. I think it's such a unique color and pattern to put together. And so I was just very excited about this. I love chocolate brown. If I see anything this color, I like pretty much immediately want it. And the fact that the fit was perfect for me, I thought that it felt very warm when I tried it on. It's just like the perfect piece. Another thing I love about this, and it's just a teeny tiny detail, is that it has the Ralph Lauren logo embroidered in chocolate brown. It just like scratches my brain in the best way. I just think it's so chic and like you can't really see it. I just know it's there. <laughs> so I don't know. I just feel very glamorous when I wear this. So it's a fun piece to wear in the winter, especially when things can get a bit drab and boring. Having this like striped um, turtleneck is really nice. If I said I only had two cashmere pieces, I was lying. I forgot about this one. This I actually also got around the same time I got the last sweater. I call it my chocolate brown era because I was just finding chocolate brown clothing everywhere I went and I grabbed everything I saw because I just love this color and I want more of it. But yeah, this is just a chocolate brown cashmere sweater, also a turtleneck. This is actually in a size extra large, I believe. Yeah. So again, cashmere, I recommend sizing up because this is an extra large and after being washed, it is the perfect size, I'd say. It says the brand is Lord and Taylor, which I've never heard of, but I got this secondhand. This is probably the warmest 
turtleneck I have because it's cashmere and a turtleneck it's just like ultimate warmth so I pull this out on like the coldest days of the year okay the next three turtlenecks I have are essentially all the same material they might as well be the same turtleneck just in different colors but they're all very important to me <laughs> I'm gonna start off with the one I've had the longest which is just this black turtleneck this is what it looks like I have yet to find a turtleneck that I love the material of more than this one. Honestly, it's nothing special. It's actually just rayon and spandex. Maybe that's the key is the spandex because it's just like this buttery material that is so comfortable and just so nice on the skin, but does not compromise in warmth. And it stayed soft through like hundreds of washes at this point. So, yeah, I just, I need to find more like this. This is actually from Express, but I got it secondhand and it is a size small. So this one I would say is like a bit more fitted than the other turtlenecks that I have shown you, but this is definitely the type of turtleneck where I would want it to be fitted. I wear this all the time. It's so comfortable and so warm, but yeah, it's like a barely there piece. Like it's almost like a second skin, which is so nice in the winter. Not staticky, not scratchy, just comfortable and chic. Like honestly, it's a black turtleneck. It's about as simple as you can get. This is ribbed. All of the turtlenecks I'm about to show you are ribbed. So the next one I'm gonna show you is a white turtleneck. This is her. I got this one at Muji. Their clothing is a bit pricey but I don't really know if the quality matches the priciness, so I'm not sure I would recommend this because it literally has a hole in it already. But it's nice, it's warm and very soft, and I just find that it's nice to have a white turtleneck because I have lots of black and brown and gray turtlenecks, so having like a lighter color is nice, especially near the holidays. I think white is such a festive color in a way, maybe because it reminds me of like snow and just like, the crispness of winter and Christmas. The crispness of Christmas. Oh my God, why did I do that to myself? But yeah, so I think having a white turtleneck is nice. I don't know if I would recommend this one, but I think investing in a white turtleneck generally is a good idea. And we finally made it to the last turtleneck. This is a Ralph Lauren turtleneck. Again, I got this second hand and it is in that lovely chocolate brown color that I love so much and I found it in my chocolate brown era. Yeah, there's not much to say except I love the color and I was excited to have another clothing item in chocolate brown. So this is a medium and a bit more oversized than the last two turtlenecks that I've shown you, but it does the job and I love it a lot. One cute detail that I love about this turtleneck that makes it a bit different from the typical is that it has these cuffed sleeves i just think that's a really nice touch i won't talk too much about this because i've already talked a lot about turtlenecks here the last sweater that i'm going to show you is a bit of an outlier it is an off the sleeve sweater which i just bought from h m it's gorgeous it is just in the softest like butteriest material and this beautiful off-white color that again is just so nice for the holiday season. Beautiful for like Christmas and the new year. I just think it's so chic and gorgeous. I have been looking for just like a white sweater, but honestly in the back of my mind, I wanted an off the shoulder white sweater because I saw this fashion influencer. I love wearing one and I was like, that is just so beautiful. Like having the neckline showing, having like a little silver necklace on or like a hoop earring with this, it just, I'm so excited to wear this. Obviously the one thing I worry about with this is the practicality of it, of an off the shoulder sweater in the winter when it's freezing. So that's why I anticipate I'll be wearing this for like events and special occasions, probably not a lot of like errand running or just being out in the elements because my shoulders would freeze off. But yeah, I'm very excited to wear this. It's like a black skirt and black tights. I just, I think it's gonna be really pretty. So I'm very, very excited for this one. So yeah, that is all of the sweaters. We've made it through all of them. I actually have more than I thought I had, but 
The reason why I didn't think I had that much is because I wear them all a lot. The key for me, I think, is finding sweaters that are practical and cute, like sweaters that you know you love and are excited to wear. I know that the winter season can feel a bit repetitive in terms of outfits, and so I hope that this video gave you some inspiration when it comes to shopping for sweaters and helps you remain warm, but also very fashionable. Thanks so much for joining me today, and if you have any questions or if I left out any, any information, feel free to drop a comment below, and I will see you very soon. Bye!